What's going on guys? This is Riggs from Clashing FFS bringing you a brand new video and we got to talk about something hot off the press. Something that just happened, well today when I'm making the video this just happened uh, earlier in the day. You know, just a, you know, a few hours ago. And, you know, for those of you that already tuned into the war community, you guys know what's going on, what, I'm, what we're going to be talking about. For those of you that do not, there was an absolute bombshell that was dropped today where Supercell, yet again, and at the end of the video, I will go ahead and link, uh, in the thumbnail at the end of the video, I'll go ahead and link the video I did on this back in Season 3 with Corrupt War League. And as you guys saw in the thumbnail... This is part two. Uh, we had a couple clans, some big name clans that pretty much everybody has heard of, uh, especially, again, if you're tuned into the war community, you know what's going on uh, as far as the elite war scene and CWL specifically. Uh, two clan bands. I'm going to just go ahead and show you guys what it actually looks like. Uh, we'll go ahead under bookmarks. Right here, we had none other, none other than WHF, uh, who got a 14-day clan ban. So if we go ahead and click on one of these, as you can see it right there, uh, not uh, eligible for war in 13 days and 11 hours. And it's pretty much, I mean, it's pretty much for anybody that you click on who has done a war in WHF. I'm not sure exactly how the schematics work. Uh, but I, I believe it's, you have to do at least a couple wars leading up to something like that. You have to do a couple wars and then they do what, you know, what we refer to as a ban wave. And, uh, you know, if, if you have accounts in the clan, whether it's one person using them, uh, using a bunch of accounts or not, uh, we'll go ahead and look right here. I mean, you can just pretty much click on any one of these 13 days, 11 hours. So war and glory and WHF have both received 14-day uh, clan bans. That means they cannot spin a war. And basically, what, essentially, what has happened is it has completely... I mean, it has... I'm going to show you guys. Uh, we'll get some background going on. We did have... Ironically, if you guys saw the war log, we just warred War and Glory, beat them ironically. And WHF2, shout out to WHF2. They did not have a clan ban. Of course, this is the sister clan to WHF, um, but we just warred uh, War and Glory and WHF two uh, back to back. Uh, you know, again, pretty ironic. Again, go ahead, we'll have some attacks in the background for you guys. Uh, I mean, some of this is going to be opinion based. I'm sure. Uh, again, at the end of the video, if you guys haven't seen it, I do have a couple of the hashtag just saying uh, videos out as far as modding clan bands, CWL, all that good stuff. And I mean, it's, it's really shocking. I mean, yeah, people would make jokes and poke fun. And, you know, you look at these guys' records, you know, getting what, eight, 10 V10s, 10, 10 10 V10s in a war. And, th and then you find out that you, you question it. How legit, you know, were these attacks? You know, was it just one person running five or six accounts? And, you know, it wasn't just one account that was banned. We're talking multiple. I believe it was five accounts in each one of these clans that were supposedly, the clans were scanned. And yet again, we have playoff clans. We're talking top seed, top seed clans that we're going to be going to the playoffs this coming weekend. This coming weekend, guys, getting banned from CWL. And it seems time after time, we keep seeing it. I mean, there has been, I don't even know how many clans from season one throughout the different leagues, from season one all the way now to season three, finding, I mean, top elite war clans that you find out are getting banned. You know, and of course, Naturally, people are going to say that they're innocent. You know, it wasn't me. How did this happen? But it did. And to me, it's just really, really sad uh, that you, you almost wonder, what is it going to take for people to learn and understand if you're going to be modding in this game, okay? If you're going to be modding in this game in a fair play league, you guys have to understand, Supercell works directly. 
directly, I mean, hand in hand with CWO and the administrative staff. You have to understand, if, you're, if you think at this point in time that you can mod in a fair play league or what, again, what is supposed to be a fair play league, you have got to be, I mean, you have got to be the stupidest person to think that you're going to get away with it. What is it going to take? How many members have to be banned? How many clans have to be banned uh, in order to, I'm not going to watch that, in order to, I mean, figure it out. I mean, in order to get it, how many times are people, how many clans have to be banned? What has to happen? What does Supercell have to do? And I do want to give a quick shout out because I know a lot of people were saying, and I know a lot of people that pretty much retired uh, within Fortune Steel itself who have retired because they thought Supercell wasn't doing anything. They're not doing anything about modding, uh, the cheating, all that. And lo and behold, Supercell, just a couple days, just a couple days, one day actually, one day before uh, the playoffs, before clans are going to start spinning uh, to match for the playoffs and CWL invite, uh, you you find out that, I mean, two of pretty much the, the top two clans, yet again, we're revisiting it and it's happening all over again. But Supercell dropping the hammer again, trying to restore some faith uh, in the in the FB community. You know, I guess you could pretty much say staying true to their word that they're going to be scanning these clans. And uh, and if you haven't figured it out by now, they do it right before playoffs, guys. Uh, and, you know, and one question you have to ask yourself, the most important thing is for people to really understand, because if you don't get it, if you don't get it by now, you're just not going to get it. But you have to ask yourself, do the ends, I mean, do the ends justify the means. And what I mean by that is, is it worth it? Is it really worth a three star on a base? Is a three star on a base that you're attacking worth your word, worth your trust from your members? Because we know not every single member in these clans are modding. We know that. But you have to understand or ask yourself, is it really worth it? To three star, I mean, to three star a fucking base, you are going to give up your integrity, your honesty, uh, and pretty much let your entire, I mean, pretty much let your entire clan down, uh, to let your entire clan down, to get that three star, to make sure you win these wars, to what? Make it to the playoffs, to find out you get caught, because you know you're going to get caught. And now you're not in the playoffs. I mean, think about it. It doesn't even, again, when you say it, especially when you say it out loud, it doesn't even make sense. That sounds like the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard where you're going, <laughs> it's just, it's just so retarded that you think that cheating, that cheating, this is cheating to get a, to get a freaking three star to make it to the playoffs, to find out your clan's not even going to go because you cheated? I mean, think about that. A again, saying it out loud doesn't even make sense. And what's worse, and, and again, I I've said it time and time again, we keep having to revisit this, is it's destroying the fair play community. People are going to look at leagues like the CWL or... Uh, some of the other leagues, the NDL, you know, all these different, uh, all these leagues, and they'll think that that it's a big joke, you know, and, and it comes down to, or you have to ask yourself, uh, I mean, a couple bad apples, you know, ruining the bunch, so to speak. And it, it's completely destroying what we have built and tried to build so much in CWL, a fair play league. You know, if you're going to go mod, Go to a freaking modders league. Go somewhere else. Why bring that into a fair play league? Because you're not good enough to three star fairly to do it fair play. Because you can't get that 10v10 triple. I don't know what it is. Uh, and I mean, especially my heart definitely goes out to the members of these clans, to WHF and to War and Glory to an extent. Because we know that, again, not all the members in these clans are modding. That's not the case. 
But when you have a couple people who, who think that they can mod and get away with it, after how many people have been banned? After how many people uh, or how many clans have been banned? This isn't the first time. I mean, again, just watch the videos. It's happening time and time and time again. And I just don't know what it's actually going to take uh, for people to get it. And I mean, it's just really, really rough. I mean, waking up now, we find out that I mean, the whole play. I, I, look at the last video I made. I took about a week off. I took about a long week off from making videos, trying to rebuild the clan. We had a lot of people leave our clan because uh, we didn't make it into playoffs, right? Turns out, after looking at all the seating placements and how all the wars broke down, I'll be the first one to tell you. Forge from Steel is in playoffs now. <laughs> Forge from Steel. We were sitting at four and seven, right? Of course, we took a loss to WHF back in week whatever it was. You can watch the recap. I think they had seven or eight 10v10s that war and an 11v11, right? And yet again, we don't know how much of those were fair play. Was it fair play, these attacks? I don't know. There's no way. There's really no way to know. But it just shows how harmful it is to the fair play community. When you when you watch an attack, you don't even, you don't even know anymore if if an attack was mod or not. You don't know. You don't know until you get caught, right? It's it's all fun and games until you get caught. But Fortune Steel has now made it into the playoffs. We're five and six, and we're a playoff clan. The war that we had against WHF, they're now zero and eleven. When we lost to them, that war was overturned. We were four and seven. Now we're five and six in the playoffs. And I'll be the first one to tell you guys. I'll be the first one to tell you. I would much rather, okay? I would much rather be a fair play, honest clan sitting at four and seven, not making it into the playoffs, knowing that we were fair play, that we were not cheaters, or we didn't have people in our clan cheating, versus being a, oh, I don't know, a 10 in one clan or a nine in two clan who have people modding in their clans cheating and could potentially, that's how they're getting these wins, right? I would take a four and seven record any day over a nine and two record, knowing that it wasn't legit, knowing that it was a lie, that it was fake. And again, I'm just ranting at this point. Like I said, these are just the, uh, the hashtag just saying videos. It's been, it's been a while since I've made one of these. I mean, it was kind of quiet. I don't know if Supercell did any clan bans throughout the season. I highly doubt it. But if you guys have not noticed yet, they do it before playoffs. In season three, they did it, I believe, after the opening round. They did it in the, I think it was the quarterfinals, right? Yeah, it was the quarterfinals. I believe uh, they did it in the, in the quarterfinals. Uh, when they did the last one, that's where you had, uh, who was it? You had War Whales, you had Immortal Thieves, and you had Swami Cockcat. Uh, that was back in uh, season three. So, or excuse me, back in season two. Uh, those were the big ones in the quarterfinals, which is completely, I mean, all you know, all the seed placements changing. People who who thought they went home for a week end up coming back into the playoffs. Just like us, like I said, ironically enough, we had so many members bail out uh, on Forge from Steel. Why? Because we didn't make playoffs. So we had a lot of members, a lot of members leave because uh, we didn't make playoffs. And ironically enough, now we're in. So a five and six clan who is is fair play, who didn't get caught for cheating, like these other clans, uh, are out. So you have to ask yourself, you know, bef you know before, you, before you're going to cheat, if, you, if anybody's watching this, who is modding or thinking about it or wants to or heard about it, who's curious, you're going to get caught if you are modding in the CWL. You're going to get caught. And I don't know, I just do not know what it's going to take, uh, you know, for someone to really, really uh, figure it out. I mean, 
time after time, every single season, there has been clans that have been caught uh, in a few different, you know, not just CWO, but other leagues. Um, but, you know, this is mainly focused on CWO as we just had WHF and none other, none other than 10 and 1, right? 10 and 1, uh, War and Glory, uh, get banned. I mean, I know we got, you know, I'm sure we'll be waiting for, you know, Power Bingsby. I'm, I'm curious to see what he's going to have to say. It's definitely, definitely, uh, unfortunate. But I mean, shout again, shout out to Supercell. Uh, I mean, you want to talk about not being biased? I mean, Power Bang. I mean, he's he's in there. He goes to Finland all the time. He's in he's in there with Supercell. Supercell doesn't give a shit. They banned his clan because they had cheaters in it. I mean, I know a lot of people have given Supercell a lot. I mean, they have given Supercell a lot of shit. Uh, you know, for not doing enough about modders and and uh, you know doing this octopus thing, doing these ban waves. And I mean, Supercell banned the clan, you know, the, the clan that power bangs, I mean, power bangs clan. So very, very, I mean, it's just crazy what happened. I mean, it was just so many DMs, so many messages, so much stuff that has happened, you know, just in today. And I mean, the mess, the def, I mean, definitely, definitely, definitely the takeaway message is you have to ask yourself. At the end of the day, is it worth it? Do the ends justify the means? Ask yourself that. You have to ask yourself that and make sure, I mean, these people that you're bringing into your clans, make you got to make sure they're legit. You got to make sure they're not cheating. Do your research. You know, do, do, uh, do the background checks on the clash of stats. You can see the clans people have been in. You can see, you know, how these hits are. And I mean, there's, there, there's ways to find out where you can look at things to really find out. And, you know, it's, it's up to everybody, the members, the elders, the leaders. Uh, it's not just going to be the CWL admins or Supercell themselves. It's definitely a community effort to set up a fair play league, to set up a fair play league that's fair for everybody in here. Because it's not fair when you're warring somebody. And they have people on the other side who are modding, who are cheating in this game. That is not fair. And these clans have what in their clan description? It's something I've always talked about in these modding videos. What does it say in the clan description? Fair play. You have to make sure that you are abiding by that, by being fair play, by not modding your freaking war attacks and keeping these keeping everybody accountable so it's fair for everybody you guys have to understand that and but again the takeaway message is it worth it ask yourself that if you're the one doing it and i mean it's pretty pretty easy uh to come up with that answer um you know you cheat i mean just think about it you cheat to win you cheat to get into the playoffs in a fair play league and turns out you get caught and now your entire clan can't war for two weeks and you're not in the playoffs. Ask yourself, is that worth it to get a three star on a base? Ask yourself that. That's pretty much going to do it for this video. Shout out to WHF2. Uh, we did get the victory 113 to 104. Uh, we did have two extra Town Hall 11s. They had two extra Town Hall 10s. Full disclosure, I believe that's what the... I don't even know what the breakdown was. It was a very, very fun war. Shout out uh, to those guys. Shout out to Forge from Steel. And a special shout out to all the guys and girls in Forge from Steel for keeping it fair play. Did not catch a clam ban. Shout out to all you guys. And thank you for the members that did not bail out on us. Uh, because we didn't make playoffs, even though we were going to do NIP and a couple other things. Uh, NIP is the not in playoffs. Uh, but now we're in. So, I mean, shout out to you guys. It's absolutely insane again what happened. I hope you guys enjoyed the next addition to the Hashtag Just Saying series. It's been a long time uh, you know, since I've done one of these videos. Corrupt War League Part 2. We're going to wrap it up there. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Comments, questions, concerns down in the comment section below like the video if you guys liked it as always make sure you subscribe to the channel as well as always this is Riggs from clashing ffs 
and I'll see you in the very next video.